Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, we are gonna take a look at a bunch of standard library Kotlin functions like run, with, let and apply. They are higher order functions, which means that they actually execute a function themselves and the function which they execute is supplied to them by us. Some of these functions are actually extension functions, but now without any further ado, let's get right to it. First up, we need to have some kind of a class to demonstrate these functions on. So we're gonna create a data class. It will be called person and it's going to have three properties and all of them are going to be mutable. So var name, it's gonna be of type string. Then also var age will be of type int. And finally, it will have var job. It will be of type string. It's not gonna inherit from anything and it's going to have one function, print person. And all that this function is gonna do is going to print line and it's going to print this person converted to string. Or we can actually write it like this dot to string so that it's more clear. If you don't know what a data class is, it's basically a classic class, no pun intended. It's just that it already has the two string and hash code implemented. You can also copy a data class, so that is pretty nice. And you can pick and choose which properties are going to be copied and which not. So that's pretty sweet. And that's about it. Then we are going to create one extension function on a string class. So string and it's going to be print line. And this extension function will just print line of this string. All right, now let's go to main function and we are gonna create two people. So while first person, it's going to be a person and its name will be John and he will be 20 years old and he will be a programmer. And then second person, it's gonna be again a person its name or his name will be Dave and he will be 30 years old and he will be a bus driver. Now let's suppose that you want to print the person which is older. You could normally do it like this while older person is equal to if first person dot age is greater or actually equal to second person dot age and then we want to return from this if statement first person otherwise so else second person is older and now we would write older person dot print person and that's how you would do it without these hard order functions if you want to do the same thing but without creating a variable you would use run a function and inside this function block, you would put this precisely the same if statement. All right, and paste it in here. And now you would print the person which this run returns. If we check what's written in the documentation about this run function, it says that it calls the specify block and returns its result. And it does precisely that. It executes all of the code between its curly braces and then whatever is returned, so first person or second person, and actually we can see that it returns this run because there is this uh, sign that this is returned from run and the second person is also returned from run. So that is returned and we can then use it to print the older person. Then we have a with function. As you can see here, you need to specify a receiver of any type. The receiver in this case will be our first person. This with function is useful when you want to modify an object and return what you want, like in the run function above. You can specify what you want to return. So let's modify this first person. We can write this dot age, but because this is a receiver and just like in any normal class, you don't need to write this almost never. So you can omit this keyword even in the with function and we can plus equal one to this age and then we can return age is now and interpolate age and then we can print line whatever that was returned from this with function. Here we are using the extension function which we created for our strings. When we actually run the code now, 
we can see that the run and also the classical way of getting the older person prints out the same thing. So Dave is older, so it prints out Dave. And then this width, it returns age is now 21 because we incremented the age by one. Then similar to the width function is also a run function. But unlike this run above, this is an extension function on any kind of class. So we can write first person that run. And now this first person is automatically the receiver for this function. So this run has actually a more concise syntax of width. And also if first person was nullable, you can do a check here. So null save access operator and you would be good to go. So I would advise that you use run instead of width almost always. Like I don't even use width in my code because uh, I didn't have any reason to use it. I always use run. So again, we can put the same kind of code inside here, like in width, and then we can print line and it's going to do the same thing actually. And then we have let, unlike with and run, let is passed an argument and not a receiver. And a receiver is this. So we can actually omit this, but remember that we can always write this before H and it's going to be just fine. But we can omit this, so why would we write that? And let has an argument and not this receiver. So first person dot let, and as you can see, it writes here that it is person, not this is person. And arguments can be renamed, so we can rename it to modified person and then use it inside this function. So modified person dot age again plus equals one. Then we want to return age is now and interpolate. And because we are going to use an access operator inside it, inside the interpolation, we need to put two curly braces after the dollar sign. And inside that we can write modified person dot age. And then we can also print line. And when we run this after the width executes, the age is 21. After run executes, the age is 22. And after let executes, the age is 23. Now we are coming to my beloved higher order function and that is apply. It's again a generic extension function so we can write second person this time apply. And apply is my most used standard library higher order function. It has a receiver this and it returns also this which is the modified object. So unlike with run and let you cannot return some string or some in from here, it always returns the same object on which you call this apply. You have no other choice. If we look at the documentation, so control and Q, it writes here that it calls the specified function block with this value as its receiver and returns also this value. Apply is used when you want to initialize an object and you cannot put all of the arguments in the constructor because for example, the constructor doesn't accept all of the arguments which you want to supply it. In this case, we can write age plus equals one and we will change the second person's job to be hot dog seller. And then we can print the person. Basically, apply is a replacement for writing second person dot age plus equals one and then again, second person dot job equals hot dog seller, right? Blah, blah, blah. We have a duplication of code here. We are writing two times second person, but we can use apply and write second person only once. So that is pretty nice. On a side note, in Android with Anko library, there's also apply recursively, which can modify all of the members of a view group. So if you have a linear layout, I don't have it here. I am using plain Kotlin here, but let's suppose that we have a linear layout. If you are not an Android developer, you can freely ignore this stuff. And it has a bunch of, let's say, text views inside it. And we can apply recursively on this linear layout. And inside this, we are going to be accessing all of the individual views inside the linear layout and not the linear layout itself. And here we could check if this is text view and then set its text size to be some kind of like SP 50 SP, right? If you are using Enco. And if you want to learn how to use Enco, you can check out my tutorial by clicking on the card in the corner. And also in Android, this wouldn't be an error. It would actually work if you have Enco installed. 
And sometimes you want to use something like apply, but you want to have a parameter which you can rename, for example, instead of a receiver. For that, there is also a function and it's called also. So as you can see here, we are getting a person as an implicit it parameter and we can write it.age plus equals one and it.job is equal to YouTuber. And then we can also print person and we could obviously rename it to be some kind of modified person like up above in let. And now when we run this code, you can see that both apply and also change the Dave person successfully. And that's it for this tutorial. If you don't want to miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you are going to be notified about all of my new videos. I'm also doing Android tutorials and all of that good stuff. If this tutorial helped you with understanding the higher order standard library functions, give this video a like and also share it. To get the code from this tutorial, click on the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. If you have any questions on this topic or on something else, if you want to suggest something, if you want to suggest some of my future videos, leave a comment, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.